Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol JCP. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Well, I don't mean to state the obvious today, but I will anyways. Very nice movement, not only from the price action point of view, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one headed into the weekend. So let's map out some levels of support and then we can talk levels of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we say, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up there above $1.16. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below $1.16, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move. This right here is how I'm defining the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above $1.16 would be great. But from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance moving forward? Nothing fancy or complicated behind this other than the fact of where the party finally stopped during that opening 30 minutes, and that was right up there at $1.23. So $1.23, first key level, if the price can push up through there, then I'm gonna have to scrunch down the charter quite a bit because the price has not been up this high for a very long time. So in fact, let's just go to the daily time frame instead. So daily make our lives a little easier on how to see things. There we go. So you have that initial level and really not that far away. Next key overall level would be right up there at the $1.26 mark. Um, and then after that, things begin to thin out that much more. But you can see $1.26 has knocked it down, not only right around here, but like I already pointed out right there. So this just general resistance zone has presented quite a few problems in the past. So let's see if the price can finally break above it next week or not. Real quick, if you found this video helpful, then I'm very confident in saying you'd find great value in this live web class that I'm offering. If you're interested and wanna learn more, go get signed up. Uh, you can go to claycharter.com forward slash live or just look at the link in the description area below. It's totally free. There's a live question and answers at the end. It's all very interactive. So go to that link, get signed up, and I'll see you at the class.